Hey guys, I have another message. Um, it was on my heart to speak about. Um, God is allowing you to lead in this season. When it comes to your marriage, God is using you as a poster child for God's love. You have been the blueprint for them thus far. You will be who God is using to influence your kingdom spouse to enter into that relationship with God and start seeking him again. And also the relationship that you have with the Lord is what stands out for your kingdom spouse. Um, when he compares you to all the other women, it's something about you that can't be compared to anybody else. This is why your kingdom spouse cannot get you off of their mind because your spirit is so captivating. Your spirit is so addictive. Your spirit is healing. The Holy Spirit is a healing spirit. When your spouse comes around you, they feel healed. They feel like they believe in love again. They feel like they can feel again. A lot of them have felt very numb for a long time. And when they are around you, they feel this love they feel this genuineness. They feel light. They feel everything inside of them coming alive again. And that's something that they cannot get from anybody else. It doesn't matter how pretty the person is, how nice their body might be on the physical, you know, um, everything that society may deem as perfect for them. Um, God is ministering to their spirits. They are changing. They no longer think that way. They no, they no longer see things through the lens of the rest of the world. They see the beauty in your spirit. And that's what makes you so much better than everybody else. They see the genuineness. And they see that it's something about you that is trustworthy. It's something about you that makes them feel like their seed will be protected. The seed that they have inside of them that they want to plant to grow, they feel like you are a fertile land because you have that anointing about you. Everything that they plant on your land, they know it will be prosperous. Ladies, gentlemen, don't be intimidated about whatever your physical, whatever your insecurities may be. If you're thinking in like a worldly way, um, they're not. <laughs> the tables are turning, like they're not. Everything that you might be feeling insecure about as far as like your looks and uh, maybe you maybe you might be feeling insecure about your weight and you might be getting some anxiety because you feel like the time is coming close and you're not looking exactly the way you may want to look. Those are the things that your spouse is not focused on. Your spouse sees your heart and that is what makes you beautiful to them. And it might sound cliche, but that is the truth is something so addictive and captivating about you. And it's that Holy Spirit that God put inside of you, that light that that just beams outward from the inside out that he is captivated. She is captivated by. They want to be around it. It's healing. And it's it's something that um, is pure and they feel a love like never before. So. Trust me when I say, don't feel like anybody is in position to steal your spot because of this, that, and the third on the outside. Trust me, God is planting seeds inside of them that is allowing them to see things in a spiritual lens. And that's what these, these false people um, who are coming around trying to get your person, this is what they don't understand. They're competing in a worldly way when this is a God thing, what God is doing, there's no competition. They can't compete with you. They can't compete with the Holy Spirit. You know what I'm saying? So they are doing things to get your significant other that um, is just, is not working for them. Your significant other is seeing, um, your significant other is seeing value and your spirit. He's seeing value in prayer. He's seeing value in all the attributes 
that you have inside of you. God has been pruning us and turning us into that Proverbs 31 woman. And that is what your kingdom spouse is looking for. God has been pruning your spouse to look for those things in a woman. He no longer sees things in a worldly way. So little do they know God has been changing your person from the inside out. God has been working on your person. They still think that those old ways, those old things are are working. They still think that they they value those worldly things. They still think that they can win your person by doing all those worldly things, but your person is seeing things in a spiritual way. God is working on them. They no longer see things the way they did before. So they've already lost this battle. It's it's already been done. Like I said in previous videos, those chains have been broken. God has been working on them, removing the blinders. The, the blinders are completely removed. The way they see things now, they see things completely different. So don't worry about what these other people on the outside are doing, guys. Just stay true to what you're doing. Stay focused on the Lord. Keep your eyes on him. That is your power. You stand out. Nobody can compare to you. Nobody can compete with you. You are the only one. You are the apple of your person's eye. And don't forget, okay? I just wanted to say that to you guys because it was on my spirit to say. Um, I know some of you guys are feeling a little bit insecure and you might be thinking that somebody's trying to steal your person and you're getting anxiety because you're not hearing from them. But let me tell you, trust that God has been working on them. He's not just working on you. This is a partnership. Do you think he's just going to work on you and not work on the other person? Absolutely not. He's working on both of you guys and you have to have faith and trust that he's doing that. So as he is working on you from the inside out, he's also working on your partner. So just believe and trust your partner does not see things the way they used to see things. They are now entering the kingdom of light and, and leaving the kingdom of darkness and they see things in such a different view. So these people that are out here trying to get your person using worldly ways, they don't, they don't work anymore. So you keep on going, sister in Christ, brother in Christ, okay? And focus on the Lord. That is your power right now. And God strategically has changed them and changed their sight so they can see you for exactly who you are and your glory. And that is what makes you beautiful. So please don't change yourself. Don't try to change yourself to fit into this worldly um, definition of what beauty is and what um, the trophy man or woman looks like. Please don't do that because you are downgrading yourself and you're actually taking yourself out of the view of your kingdom spouse. Um, because the way God is pruning them, that is your strength. That is how they identify beauty through Christ. So if you're taking yourself away from that and going back to those worldly ways of thinking and trying to fit into that stereotype, it's actually pulling you away from them. They will no longer be able to see all the beauty in you that God has put in you. Okay. So don't compete with all that other stuff, guys, because yeah, they don't even have a ticket in the race. They're not even competing. They can't compete. They are not even qualified anymore, okay? So don't let the enemy trick you, okay? That's all I want to say. Don't let the enemy trick you. Don't let him lie to you. All right? Please hold on to this word. And I ask that you seek God for confirmation on this. Pray about it. You know, this is something that dropped in my spirit and I wanted to speak on it. Seek the Lord and receive confirmation for yourself. But um, trust me, your person, if this is resonating for you, your person is seeing beauty from a different lens. They're not the same person. So everything that you are doing, trust me, it is everything that your spouse is wanting and loving to see. Don't go back to your old ways um, God is doing a new thing. Have faith and keep going. Okay. Bye guys. Talk to you soon.